Welcome to the Prophecy Club. We're going to continue with some new updated information from Terry Bennett today, and I think it is just awesome. I think it brings some hope. I think it brings some encouragement. It's updated, and it's called Trouble But Short-Lived. Trouble Soon But Short-Lived. Also, I'm going to be speaking, I think this program plays Friday, so I think that I'm going to be speaking today and tomorrow and Sunday. Anyway, go to hearthewatchman.com, hearthewatchman.com, April 5 to 8. And yes, there's still room for you to come. That is, you just need to make arrangements for a hotel. And hearthewatchman.com, it'll tell you all about it. And this is when I'm going to be speaking also encourage you to subscribe, join Prophecy Club 990 a month or more on an automatic gift donation by clicking on the QR code down at the bottom. Also, if you're thinking about getting your IRA and your 401k into gold and silver so you don't lose it should the stock market fall or your IRAs or, or your money markets fall, 800-200-GOLD, 800-200-GOLD, and these people love Prophecy Club people to call. These people already know what's going on. We don't have to train them so much. They love Prophecy Club people. 1-800-200-GOLD or prophecyclubgold.com. Also, if you're needing food for the trouble uh, coming, and that probably means you do, go to josephkitchen.com, josephkitchen.com. All right, so I'm going to start. The first three pages I read like uh, a month ago. And now he's got a lot of new information tucked into this. And I think that there might be a little of it that's repeated, but I don't want to miss any of it. I'd rather say some of it twice than miss some of it, so I'm going to read all of it. Okay, so 3102024. Terry Bennett. This is the updated version. I'll try to tell you the text that's updated. This we've read before. I believe it'll make sense in the next few months because I think we're looking at not years. In the short-term look, I think we're looking at months before this starts, is what he's saying. So there's importance, I believe, in the warning that I got from the Lord. There's a part of this that was literally like an interstate in front of me. Donna, his wife, Donna and I were traveling in some type of vehicle down at Interstate 40. Now, he went on in this to say that Interstate 40 might mean 40 weeks. And we had to come to a halt and then move very slowly forward. By the way, the 40 is new information. Come to a halt, then we move very slowly forward because of these multi and large potholes that were in the road in front of us. They were all dealing with economics and governmental issues. Then the governmental issues would include resources, sorcery resources, finances, support, those types of things from states right down to the individuals. Now, let me also say, we typed this up from him talking, and sometimes we could have misunderstood what he said. So if you can get us a written version directly from Terry saying, yes, this is exactly what the prophecy is, I'd love to see it. So we're doing the best to bring it to you. He may not have even posted it yet. Anyway, let me read that again. Then the governmental issues would include resources, sorcery resources, finances, support, those types of things that states right down to individuals. The biggest pothole, this is new, we had to drive around was the national debt. He said they couldn't go over it, they had to drive around it. This is new. So the road was filled with potholes for some hundreds of yards. It was not lengthy. Now that's partly good news. Now let me also say, when I was reading this the first time, I got a big yawn, just one yawn. And then as I was completing the update, I got another big yawn. Now, what's that saying? I think it's saying it is not a prophecy. In other words, this is not guaranteed to come. I think that God is saying that if America will pray, if my people will pray, though my people called by my name will pray and humble themselves and turn from wicked ways and seek my face, then I'll hear from heaven, forgive their sins, and heal their land. Meaning... This could be a lengthening of tranquility. Now, I think the odds are saying it's probably not going to happen the way. So this good news I'm about to bring you is probably saying it's not going to happen. I want it to happen. 
I pray it happens. I pray that we give him more time. I pray that what he's told here happens. I'm just raising an eyebrow, <laughs> saying I'm not sure that it is. Let me read this again. So the road was filled with potholes. For some hundreds of yards, it was not lengthy. So what I'm describing is a short, difficult time in our nation. It's not the big one. Now, this is also, he was interviewed by Chris Reed. So it had Terry Bennett, Chris Reed on the same program. They both had the same, pretty close to the same information they brought from their pulpits on the same day. They were both saying that they felt like these words confirmed each other and de dovetailed into them. We'll go on. It's not the big one that has been foretold by the Lord, but this is a short term but not far in front of us. The roadway was filled with potholes due to the lack of them being addressed over the years. This is new information. Potholes representing different things, some of the different depths added to. They were throwing asphalt into the potholes, but they were not filling all of them. Now, potholes is referring to problems specifically within our government. Some they were making worse, Many of the deeper holes were from long-term problems. Instead of addressing the problems governmentally, economically, and spiritually, we've instead compounded them through mismanagement of resources, personal evil agendas through federal and state leadership. Now, that's, I mean, that's right on. Some of the names of the potholes were national debt, border control, banking systems, overspending, personal agendas, injustice, overtaxation, foreign relations, foreign dependence, breakdown and offshore movement of American industries. Okay, they've shut down a lot of industries, moved them overseas. They think that's a better deal. That's not better. Shut down, uh, breakdown and offshore of movement of American industries and dependence. And it was about 100 yards long. He was not certain what that meant. He said he thought it might mean that all of this only lasts 100 days. I don't know if 100 days is the same as, four, uh, as 40, or four, yeah, 40 weeks. I meant to look that up. I'm not sure. I don't think so. Now, that's so important. I'm going to read that paragraph again. Some of the names of the potholes were National Debt, Border control, banking systems, overspending, personal agendas, injustice, overtaxation, foreign relations, foreign dependence, breakdown and offshore movement of American industries and dependence. It was about 100 yards long. The primary failures in the nation was primarily due to our nation's leaders. Well, duh. But the leaders are put in power by the people and the leaders. We don't get the, the leaders we want. We don't get the leaders we need. We get the leaders that look like us. In other words, the leaders carry the heart of the nation. When we're corrupt and turned away from Jesus, that's what we get as leaders. The primary failures in the nation was primarily due to our nation's leaders have taken a stand against Christ. God's judgment coming was due to our turning from Christ. This will be a temporary, short-term chaos, I hope. I'm not convinced, but I hope. This is not the big collapse. There will be fractured functions. The breaking down of structural issues, like the breaking of the bones in the human body, like the Francis Scott Key Bridge that just had the big boat run into. Functional disabilities. Limited restrictions of movement. In other words, he said here, I should have put it in, but he said that this is kind of like another pandemic where you can't move around. Safety will be a concern. In other words, gangs roam in the streets. Disabling of functions. Unimportant and important functions. Allocations of finances tempor temporarily restrained. Disabled functions. Supply and demand will be difficult. Some businesses will close. I probably should read this again. This is so important. Some governmental entities will be halted briefly in functions and the releasing of funds. 
This will be a short-term hard blow. Difficulties will be felt. This will be short in duration compared to the much more difficult times. I'll read it again. It's, I mean, you got to get this in your spirit. Functional disabilities within our nation. Limited restrictions of movement. Safety will be a concern. Disabling of functions, unimportant and important functions. Allocations of finances temporarily restrained. Disabled functions. Supply and demand will be difficult. Some businesses will close. Some governmental entities will be halted briefly in functions and releasing of funds. Okay, that's we want our entitlements, okay? This will be a short-term hard blow. Difficulties will be felt. This will be short in duration compared to the much more difficult times coming. The key will be trusting and listening to his voice and directives. The greatest fear is not wanting to believe God's warnings. You know, that's kind of smacking of a pre-trib rapture again. You know, they don't want to be tested, right? They don't want to go through any trouble. It is easier not to believe. I'm going to read that again. The greatest fear is not wanting to believe God's warnings. It is easier not to believe. The true fear of the Lord must be greater than the difficulty or the fear of the difficulty. The fear of the Lord must become our wisdom. It would be impossible to give oversight of this nation if the leaders have no personal oversight and checks in their personal lives. In other words, what is in our heart as a nation is what is in the heart of our leaders. They are a mirror of the people. And that's the reason nothing's going to happen until there's a big revival. Until the heart of the nation changes, nothing else will change. There was a stretch of highway that seemed good. We were able to pick up speed where we, where we could pick up speed. We were standing on the banks of a deluge. Now, is that the New Madrid earthquake? Is that some kind of a tsunami? I-40 in the highway was gone. Bridges were gone. And there was a deluge. It was in the darkness of the night. There were things rushing past me in the turbulent waters. One was a broken flagpole with an American flag. I knew it represented that there were no longer 50 states. I think Chris Reed saw the same thing. I'll read it again. One was a broken flagpole with an American flag. I knew it represented there were no longer 50 states. The flag was torn and tattered and there were bullet holes in the flag. Civil War. Fall of America will start with an internal revolution. I also saw an old wooden dead tree, no foliage come by, with three branches on it. Written on each of the branches were executive, legislative, and judicial. It was dead. Now, what does that mean? That means that our government, as we know it today, is gone. I saw autos washing past me. I knew that this was talking about the automobile industry. I watched as a big sign washed past me saying, Banks of America. A Kroger's sign. And insurance. And others washed past me and I wept. I'm going to read that again. That's really important. I saw autos washing past me. I knew this was talking about the automobile industry. Gone. Okay. In other words won't be making automobiles in America anymore. Try to picture that. I watched as a big sign washed past me saying, Banks of America. I didn't think it says Bank of America. It says Banks. In other words, the banking system will fall. Kroger's sign. What is that? It's saying that the grocery system we have will be gone. I'm telling you, you better go to josephkitchen.com. You better get yourself some food. Nobody can touch their prices. Nine or ten thousand dollars to feed one person, or one thousand dollars to feed put one person for a year. What do you want? JosephKitchen.com is where you go. So the banks are going to be gone. Kroger's sign and insurance. Now, what happens when there's no insurance companies? In other words, something bad happens and it's all on you. If there's no automobiles being made, the banking system has fallen. The grocery system has fallen. The insurance system has fallen. It's a good time to weep.
It's basically saying that the United States as we know it is gone. Then the Lord shows me what is going on in the waters. It was spiritual. People were in rage, lawlessness, anger, bitterness at each other and at the government. That's what Leslie was shown too. A spirit of murder gripped our nation. I heard men, women, and children screaming at each other. It got so bad that they all began to realize that we're just going to kill everyone if we don't stop. So that's more than just a civil war. And see, this is what the elite have been trying to cause. It's not just a war between the races, between the Democrats and the Republicans. It's not even just a war between the North and South. People everywhere in America are angry at each other. They begin to cry for mercy to each other, but that didn't stop it. After a while, they finally began to cry out to God. Have mercy to us, God. That did it. When that reached the crescendo, what's that saying? When all of the people in America finally turned to God. Coming up, out of the waters, I heard the audible voice of God say, and mercy will triumph over judgment in your nation. And that's where I got the yawn. And about that same place is where I got the yawn the first time I read this. I, again, I don't think it's saying it's not coming. I think it's saying it's not guaranteed to come. I think that if we want this good picture, <laughs> you say it's a good picture, it's better than Russian nuclear weapons, over a hundred of them taking out the top hundred cities all across America is better than that. It's better than suitcase nukes going off all across America. It's better than it could be. It's an improvement over the picture that we've been given. I know, <laughs> it's pretty tough. But I think what it's saying is, if we don't pray, we won't get this. This is better than the picture that was given to Dimitri. Which one do I... The anointing just touched me. Do I believe this or do I believe Dimitri? I like Chris Reed. I like Terry Bennett. But they didn't sit on an electric chair twice. They didn't go through five months of torture to get the message. So if it comes down to them or do I believe Dimitri? Okay, number one is the Bible, <laughs> obviously. Bible, Dimitri, and then others. So if I have to choose, I'm going to choose Dimitri. I think God is saying, America, I can give you a little bit better future, but you're going to have to pray. And I guess it'd be a good time for me to say, if you want to pray for America, if you want to be a part of the solution, if you want to be part of the people praying, I just looked last night, there's now like 849 people that are a member of the Fast Gap Fasting and Prayer Team. Here's how you get to it. You go to prophecyclub.com, slide all the way to the bottom, and you can sign up for either Fast Track, which is praying for the Johnson family and Prophecy Club, or Fast Gap, which is praying for America. Either way, each Tuesday evening, I send you an email directly from me. It has all the typos in it and everything, directly from me to you. No one filters it. And... I say, okay, this is what we're. This is the prayer. Generally, it takes less than two minutes to pray the prayer. We ask you to fast from Tuesday evening midnight to Wednesday afternoon at four p.m. Not a hard fast, okay? Uh, as a matter of fact, as I record this, I'm I'm in the process of this fast. So we we do the same fast, the same prayer, the same day. All of us. There's like fifteen hundred people with fast track. Praying for Prophecy Club, been going a lot longer. And Fast Gap has eh, 849, I think. Go to prophecyclub.com. You can here, here's my promise. You can unsubscribe anytime you want to. I never send product offers and I never ask donations. Not from my fast track or fast gap teams. They are only for fasting and prayer. So if you want to be a part of seeing good things come to America, go and join Fast Gap. Anyway, let's go on. Let me back up and start this again. When that reached a crescendo, in other words, when all the people of America finally decided to turn to God, 
coming up out of the waters, I heard the audible voice of God say, and mercy will triumph over judgment in your nation. Daylight began to come up, which was a new day had dawned. It crossed those turbulent waters. Still didn't say we've avoided Demetrius' warning. On the other embankment was another flagpole with a new flag. In the center of a white background was an evergreen tree with a new life. In the center of the evergreen tree was a new white star written above it was written the words, The New Republic of America. Above the words New Republic of America, there was a goldish white star that represented the New Republic. Around the perimeter was a five-inch wide gold strip. Within the gold strip, there were evergreen stars representing new states of the New Republic. Above that was a Gideon. Now, I had to look up what a Gideon. Gideon is kind of a, a war flag. In other words, it's a different flag. So we don't know what that is. It was a Gideon, a small war flag. And in it was blue and green and written again in green was, We will trust in our God. And that was the new day. Now, that was the end of the new information. Let me go back and finish what else he said. So this is, there will be some things repeated here. I knew this was going to be speeding through that area. We would be, I knew that to go speeding through this area would be to blow out our tires, break our axles, and the vehicle, if we went fast, what was already, show, what was already slowed down was what became much slower of necessity. That's an economic term. Again, this is not the big one. It may feel that way during the things like this, but it won't be. That has not been prayed away yet, and this that I'm going, I'm talking about now is coming. There is no stopping it. Well, I hope the good part is coming. There was because of the potholes that were representing many things, including agendas, mismanagement, overspending, and the national debt out of control, but all triggered by governmental overreach and every responsible and unlawful action in various leaders. Lies, oppression, Criminal actions will be a portion of why this stretch to the road will be filled with potholes and the difficulties of the time. A slowdown is a must, and that will be in various types of applications. Navigating will be treacherous, but not impossible, especially, I'll say this, to God's people who trust Him to be led and directed by Him, to be treacherous, but not impossible for the righteous and the wise. So, There were some statements that were said to me by the Lord. He spoke. He said, fractured functions. The breaking of structure in the nation is like bones of support being broken. Secondly, the functional functional disabilities. The restriction of one's own movement within the nation as well as progress instead limitations. Lastly, disabling functions. Partly important functions as well as unnecessary functions, in fact, Unnecessary, unimportant functions were leading to the disabling of important functions because they have robbed and drained of the resources. There will be no bailout this time, so there will be a disabling of government functions. We want our entitlements. Okay? Not all, but some as well as disabling of certain businesses. Disabling supply and demand for short periods of time. You better have some food. You better have some water. Okay? Some areas of the nation are worse than others. The demand for supplies will not be able to be met, part of that being the lack of movement at times going on in the nation. Again, this will be short-term, and it will then be better. I hope so. I'm skeptical, but I hope so. Got to pray. I say again, it's not the end, nor is it the big one that the Lord has talked about and spoken about for years and foretold. Worse will follow what we're about to experience, and it will be what I saw in this nation. The worst is international, but it's at a distance. The mercy of God is in this so that we can trust Him. We must always trust Him. He is trustworthy. He will prove He is trustworthy to us. That does not mean we'll have it easy. It does not mean that everything will be great, taken care of. That not what I'm saying is not what the Lord is saying, but we can trust Him. Since 2008 and 9, when it was hard upon the nation, that wasn't the big one either. 
He will be trustworthy. I'll say it this way. The fear of the Lord will need to be great in us and become greater in us. Let me finish up. More shortages in supply and demand chain will occur due to interstate disruptions. Secondly, federal support will be small and at times non-existent, including the breakdown temporarily of monthly top checks. Thirdly, some states will be forced to provide for what the federal government cannot. Others will be unable to because of their own economic issues. You will need to have the Lord's wisdom. I would advise strongly that you store up at least a few weeks' worth of food. I've had people say this to me. Well, Terry, I just trust in God. No, you're trusting in the system. The system we have, and it's not trustworthy. I don't need to store food because I trust in God. If you go back 100 years in this nation, that would be foolish talk. There were no supermarkets. We were built to trust in our system, and I'm telling you, it's going to be shaken. We're not trusting in God. We're trusting that we can go to the supermarket. I think it's well said, well worded. And I'm uncovering it in front of us. That is showing a lack of trust in the Lord. We're going to need to trust the Lord. So I recommend you subscribe to the channel. Go to josephkitchen.com. Go there. Here's what you want to do. You want to order yourself a machine package. Because what you do is, is they send you the wheat in seven-gallon plastic pails that will last hopefully 25 years. So you take the wheat out, put four cups into a grinder, push a button, 30 seconds later it's grounded into wheat flour. Put that along with five other ingredients into a bread machine, push a button, two hours and 40 minutes later you have a nice hot steaming loaf of wonderful tasting bread. I had it for breakfast, lunch, and, and dinner yesterday. Now, I'm fasting today. I haven't had anything today. Then you decide how much food you want. You want food for one person, two people, four people, six people, how much food you want. I'd recommend you get more than just for you because you're probably going to be feeding your whole neighborhood if you could afford it. I mean, most of these long-term storage places, you're talking nine, ten thousand dollars $10,000 to feed one person for one year. Got that? Nine, ten thousand, one person, one year. At Joseph Kitchen, you can do it for about $1,000 per person, and it's wheat. Now, I think that's why Jesus calls us wheat versus tares, because I think that's the primary thing humans are supposed to be eating. Now, you can't live on one thing, but it's probably one of the best things to eat. It's lowered my blood pressure. It's lowered my cholesterol. Uh, I always have a slice of it before I go play ball because I have more energy. I can run like the wind josephskitchen.com I recommend if you want to have your wealth not lost if you've got it in an IRA if you got it in a 401k if you got it in a bank if your wealth is in paper as Lindsay Williams said it's worth the paper it's written on in other words it's about to be worthless so I'll send you to prophecyclubgold.com you can also reach them call 800-200-4653 800-200-4653. They'll give you some ideas on what to do. That is their job, to help you not lose your wealth. So what is an EMP Shield device? It's a device you can put on your car and your house that in an EMP attack is supposed to stop the attack. And if you go to empshield.com and if you use the promo code PROPHECY, they give you a $50 discount. They also have videos up there Shows you how to install it on your car and your house and everything, and it's not difficult at all. I've got one of them right here. Red goes to red, black goes to black, green goes to the car, uh, body of your car, and you just peel it off the back, stick it under there. Got another device that goes on your house. So, not complicated. Take you about 10 minutes to put them in. So, empshield.com promo code is prophecy.